Good morning, my good people. The DSK dad is back. It's a Friday morning. It's very cold in Joburg. Guys, I woke up this morning and I was very inspired by a video that I was watching. It's a video of Musam Selegu. Those who know Musam Selegu, they would know. Oh, those who do not know him, Musam Selegu is a guy. Um, is a guy who was uh, presenting Umnagwetu, the show about Istanbul. Mselegu was sharing a video of himself and how he made his first million. Believe it or not, if you don't believe me, go to his YouTube, um, go to YouTube and find the video and you'll be inspired. Musa Mselegu made his first million by selling food at a taxi rank. Yep. If you don't believe me, go to YouTube and you'll see the video now that inspired it, it, it inspired me and it made me believe or made me think what maybe maybe we should share our stories so that we can inspire each other out there because guys we have ideas for days the problem is we are lazy we don't want to think and we don't want to use our brains to make things work for us all we want is to get up and go look for a job I agree times are tough now I'm going to share my um, my small idea that made me at least get something I at least I got a car out of it and I got the deposit to buy my first property not that yeah it was a deposit to buy my first property guys when I was growing up in Katle Home, in my Vimbel, there was a guy called Babunkos. Babunkos he had a had a, um, a general dealer, which was a shop, and he had a small a, a butchery there, which was selling beers as well. Now Babunkos he was friends with my mom and dad, so because things were tough, I asked Babunkos he wanted Babunkos Mara, can I work for you? Babunkos said, No, it's fine, you can work for me. While I was still working for Babunkosi, I then realized that a lot of people who are bringing dry clean to the... Oh, he had a dry cleaners as well. A lot of people who were bringing clothes to be dry cleaned were old people. And these were people that didn't have time to go to dry cleaners and take their clothes there every single time because most of them were employed. So that's when I realized that a man. This is an idea that I can use. I then started asking Babunko, Babunko, so Babunko, if I were to go house to house, collect dry cleaners, collect clothes to bring them to the dry cleaners, how much would I make? He said to me, for an example, um, a brand hood, a, pa a, pa a, a pair of brand hood pens was eight bucks at that time. But if I bring the, pair to, uh, the clothes to him, he would take six rands and give me two rands. So what I did was, because I was making a job easy for those who could not take close to the dry cleaners, I then said to them, okay guys, Mena, I will come to the house, pick up the clothes, take the clothes to the dry cleaners. And then from that, because you, do, you don't have to go up and down, I put 50 cents markup on top. People didn't have a problem because either way I was solving their problem. They didn't have time to go to the dry cleaners because they were either at work and when they come back from work, they, they need to attend parties and funerals on weekends, but their clothes are dirty. So I started going all over my uh, section, which was my Vimbella section in Katleong. I started going all over and taking clothes from the people, taking the clothes to um that Babunkosi, Babunkosi would wash the clothes with the with the dry cleaning services and then I pick up the clothes afterwards, take them back to the owners. I get the money. Babunkosi takes his six bucks from every pair uh, every pair of pens that I brought and I get two rents plus the fifty cents markup. So I get two rent fifty. Now this made me open my eyes. We didn't know. If I can make so much money by doing nothing, all I'm doing is go to your house, you give me your clothes, I take the clothes to the dry cleaners, and then I make about 
at that time remember i was doing generations at that time and i didn't care i didn't care that people would say hey he's on tv but he's walking around asking for tra i did not care all i knew was i needed money i was willing to work for it and i worked for my money that's all i did i didn't care what people were saying i made money i bought my first car it was a white city golf and that white city golf i bought it because i knew with a car i can actually go to more houses and more sections i can cover the rest of katlong well i didn't cover the rest of katlong but i made money that time i was getting paid 300 to 400 bucks from generations my dry cleaning service and that was per month 300 to 450 rands uh, from generations but with my dry cleaning service i was making about 2000 rands a month to 2500 so my dry cleaning service was paying me more than my tv um my tv job that's how i bought the golf after i bought the golf i didn't buy the golf because i wanted to clothe i bought the golf because i wanted to grow my business I bought the golf. I started going to more places and more sections in Katleong. I started bringing more clothes to Ubabunkosi and my check got bigger. That's how I got the deposit to buy my first townhouse. I was still doing generations, but I was still continuing with my dry cleaning service. The unfortunate part, because I was still young, I didn't know how to use the money, but I, I'm glad that that dry cleaning service bought me a car and it gave me a deposit for my first townhouse. I regret, the regret that I have was not continuing with the business because once I left Katle home and I bought a townhouse, my business suffered and I stopped doing the dry cleaning thing. I stopped uh, collecting. What I regret was not employing other ambitious young men like me and show them the kind of business that I was doing because I believe at this moment I would have been the king of dry cleaners either way it's a small idea it's a small inspirational story which i believe there are a lot of people out there guys in a township there's a there are so many ways of making money legally dsk diaries guys let's get up and work let's get up and make things happen let's make the things that made whatever dsk Good morning. I hope with my small and a boring story, you picked up one, one or two things that can help you. Bye.